2023, October the 1st, Sunday. It's going to 527. Um, we are here at the top of Aram Road. That's Aram Road coming up there. There's the forest. And we're going in at that gate over there, just on the other side of the board. Um, on a on a birding hike this morning. And if you listen carefully in the background. There's a town tall, guinea fowl, making a noise. I can see it here, you probably won't be able to see it on the video. And there was some doves around somewhere that I heard. Um, so yeah, we, we're not ornithologists, we don't, we don't know our birds all that well. I don't know if anybody else in the group does, but certainly not, not I. Um, there's a harida, I mean it's just, there's just all over the place. But uh, we hope to see some birds. Um, I have seen some turicos, um, uh, flay luris, no, um, nice luris. Um, I've heard some flay luris on the path that we're going to take today. Um, what else? There's <laughs> rare sighting. I've only recently learned about them. They're called, um, in Afrikaans, they're called uh, Blouka Takurus. Uh, I think it's a forest strike or a, something like that. Um, they usually live in pairs. They're rare sightings. Um, sort of a bluish grayish kind of color to them. Uh, initially when I saw them the first time I thought they were pigeons. Um, and then I thought, no, hang on, they've, they've got the shape of a cockatiel. And, and then I spoke to somebody and they identified them as a bloke at the Kuru. Um, anyway. So, yeah, and boobles, I mean, there are boobles all over the place, little crawl -wuchies. Um And what else? So, we'll, we'll see what we can see. And um, the rest of the group, wait, here's something, here's something, what's that? That is, that is a kolhans, I think, flying away over there. Okay, so the birds are out already, and we're just waiting for the rest of the group to arrive. They should be here in about five or ten minutes we're nice and early very excited to do a bird hike today um, it's fairly flat level ground easy hike there's been a bit of rain yesterday there might be a bit of mud along the way nothing too con too, too serious um, and yeah it's not a long hike at most I guess about four kilometers for the basic route and then depending on what people feel like we can take detours and extend the distance a bit and we should be back before lunchtime. I think here's the next of next of our group. It's about 10 past 7 on my watch and here we go down the road. And you can hear the hardy does all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, it's about 20 past 7. And here's a little uphill. Let's see if I can get the uphill. Here's the uphill deviates from the main road that I'm used to. Here is a forestry house. We're not going that way. We're turning to the right. And then. My body's still sleeping. Yep. Well, that was a short, quick up once and out back. Yeah, it's the just other to. One went a little bit gradual. It's just to get around the trees that's been blown down. 
Here on our right hand side, lots of pine trees lying blown down. Yeah. It's like Vainan says, it looks like a, a Boeing crash landed here. Oh, yeah, it's actually here already. Yeah. yeah. And here in front, we have some tall tree ferns. This is quite amazing, actually. That's why the club doesn't run here. I guess, I guess. Beautiful. Look at these, they are easily three, four meters tall. Yeah. Oh, that's big for friends. Yeah. I think I'm ready to transfer the stick to my left hand. Okay, yeah, sure. There you go. When you're tired of pulling me around, no, no. when you just hand me to Roy or Vaynand, Vaynand's run with me. That's yeah. fine. I'm trying to determine which way forward. Looks like this is the way forward. <laughs> but the group's falling behind, so I'm going yeah, to. I they're agree. taking photographs. Yeah, that's cool. Is yeah. there a nice photograph opportunity or not really? What's, not That's where well, the Boeing landed. <laughs> that's where the Boeing landed. There's there's Boeing landage all over actually, yeah, if you want to call nice. it that. So <laughs> yeah. the the tree ferns are tall but they're sort of broken, so ah, it's not okay. it's not yeah. great. And here's a bit of scrambling through trees and roots oh, and stuff so oh, trees, yeah. yeah be careful not to scratch yourself okay. and there's a root in the way there it's not a square root now and then and then and then here's the path going up the, the road going down to, to our right hand side where we used to go. We're going to join the middle, we're probably near the junction. Uh, not quite yet, yeah. but we're going there. Yeah. And More or less in that direction. We're going to scramble across some trees here. A lot of fallen and wrecked yes. trees. Okay, it's going on to eight. We've been um, fumbling along for about an hour. Uh, the the path is unexpectedly blocked by fallen pine trees, and uh, so we had to turn around because we ran into two dead ends. And now we're going past that forestry house again. I hope the dogs are friendly. Do you want to grab the stick or not? Um, What's I'm easier? Just a moment. Here's the uphill on our left hand side where we came up this morning. There's the forestry house. The dogs are behind the fence. That's good. And then let's see how this path goes. Okay, are you with me? Right. Let's see how this path goes. If we can go around the house. And, and we've got Kronstave in the tree. There we go. Yes, here we go, here we go. Okay, a little bit of mud on the left. Let's go to the right. And, and this path. There's another path through the forest. This this spot seems to go somewhere and we'll figure out how this goes. Still 5 to 8 and just past the forestry house here's a T-junction. And you can go down. I recommend we go up. We're not going this way, I'm just getting a photograph.
Here's a cycle track that's got pine trees blown over it. Belhambra. Um, the Belhambra is a reference to the tree, the big tree, also known as the fairy tree or the wisdom tree. And apparently that has got blown down as well, which is very sad. It was huge, it was beautiful, um, but sadly it's been lost to the wind it seems. I haven't been there recently so I don't really know, but that's the story I've heard. Here's a T-junction coming onto our path over here, to our left. We're going to go straight up to the middle contour. There's a funny bird in the background. Because <laughs> yeah. oi, oi. Yeah, Almost like a queer fool. Yeah, queer something, yeah. But we don't have queer fools here in, in the garden route. Oh, okay. That's yeah, probably something similar. Related. Yeah, it's probably called something else. I've actually got an app on my phone that should be able to identify the sound. I'm going to try it. Okay, yes, by all means. Will we get to a quiet spot next? Yes, yes. And I've got a quiet spot in mind. Oh, good. Where we can actually if just it's... chill for a bit and actually focus on the bird. Yes. If it's not blown over by the wind as well, but it's it's in it's in indigenous forest, okay. So it should be okay, I believe. Yeah. Oh, the only way to find out is go there. Looks like here's a T junction coming up ahead. This might be the middle contour road, and. Yeah. Yeah, this is a track. Yeah, this is a track. I think I know where we are now. Um, pine trees blown across. And thankfully somebody's cut and come along and cut them clear. Can one take photos here? Is it also hit by a bowing? Yeah, it's pretty much hit by a bowing as well. But going back to the west, the pine trees are standing more more regularly. Hello, Carl. Um, How are you doing, Mel? <laughs> awesome. It's going on to 10 past 8 and we're walking west from the T-junction. There's a nice big tree, tree fern on our left hand side. Um, and Thankfully these pine trees are still standing up. And if you listen carefully, there's a Turaco up ahead somewhere going co 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 co. That's a beautiful spot now. There's a lot of bird life. Yes, I want to go there, and hopefully we'll see some Turacos. Yes. But there are little birds all around. If you listen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is a lovely spot. I remember when we ran here in the evening. I think let's let's stand here and listen for a bit. Please call me. Shh. I need to speak with Yeah. This is what we're going to do. Yeah. 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 You must like the sound of the birds, Carl. Yeah, trying to record them. Nice and alluring. 
Kurpos 8 and we're entering indigenous forest now so there's a little bit across the way flying up from the path and I think up ahead over here on our right hand side there's a spot where I have seen turacos in the past before including Hadi does Air route. Yeah. Yellow woods all around us. Other indigenous trees which I am not unable to identify. And if you listen carefully in the background, lots of little birds all around. Still shortly about quarter past eight. To the right is mud. There's a pigeon or a dove or probably a pigeon on our left hand side and I can hear water running up ahead here absolutely lovely There's a path coming down the hill from our right hand side and going off to our left hand side. I think this is the path we want to take down to the left, but let's go up to the waterfall first. <laughs> 20 past 8. There's a lovely waterfall. Go, go, go. Anyway, stop now. Runs across the path, or underneath the path, to the right hand, to the left hand side. But let's go up here. A little bit muddy, rocks across the way. Step high. Yeah. Yes. Grab onto my pack. Right. Okay. There's a drop on the left, so oh, yeah. stick to the right, I and there's a this. there's a rock on our right hand yeah. side, so and then step up, up the incline. Right. And then high up onto a rock. And Stick to the right hand side, there's mud on the left. Oh, yeah. Okay, here's some oh, yeah. something on the right hand side to hold on to. Okay, cool. Soil and <laughs> roots and branches and stuff. Yeah. Okay, and then step forward. Stepping forward a little bit. Right. Yeah. With you. Going, Just stepping right up. There. Yep. Stepping up on the right hand side. Okay, cool. Go, no. Go Bolt! <laughs> Woo! Bolt! Is that really? Went in the water. I heard him. <laughs> Went in the water. No, he's fine. He's fine. That sounds nice. 
Yeah. It's Last lovely. time I was here, it was actually warm enough to swim. Oop. Yes. Not now. Okay. Stepping over root. Okay, yeah. And our left hand side. It's about five to nine. That last clip was a clip of a blow cutter kuru. Um, I hope I got it in. It was quite close to the to the road. I might be able to zoom in and get it. It was sitting in the sunshine. And then coming up ahead, there's another waterfall here. Can one take a photo? Uh, you can. It's actually not as spectacular as the oh, other one, but it's okay. you've got running water. Yeah. It's a good it's a good photo opportunity. Okay, it's about half past nine. And we've turned around and come back past that first waterfall we've been. Here's the path coming down the hill, continuing down here. We're going to go down here as well and hopefully see some more birds.
die. From our last picnic spot, um, here's a downhill. We've hit a T junction. That's the way down the hill. I think we're going to take that way. That's the way up the hill, which is probably going back to the to the middle contour road. We're going down here, and there should be a turn off to our left, further down, I think, as well. It is now about. Okay, it's about five past ten and we're coming up on the crossroads. We're going to take a left here. Straight ahead goes down to Plantation Road. split off. There's the mountain in front of us. It is now quarter past ten. We're going to turn right here. I think this is where we came out this morning. Vainan's confirmed that. We're going to pass the forestry house on the left hand side and then go back to the cars. There's the forestry house, that's the way to the Bundabash, and this is the way down the hill, back to the cars. There's some roots raised across the road here, across the path, going downhill. So just lift your legs, lift your feet. Okay, it's going on to half past 10. Bye everybody, thanks a lot, it's been fun. And